City Development Strategy, CDS. The CDS is a framework to assist a city and its citizens, individual and corporate, to harness the potential of urbanization through long-term strategic planning. It is an action-oriented process, developed and sustained through participation, to promote equitable growth in cities and their surrounding regions to improve the quality of life for all citizens. A CDS is not only concerned with developing a strategy, but also with its implementation and the sustainability of the initiatives. To achieve this, the CDS integrates operation and maintenance issues into the whole process. What is CDS 2.0? Cities Alliance has pioneered the CDS in cities around the world, helping them incorporate inclusive, long-term planning and leveraging funding for follow-up activities. After almost two decades of experience with CDS, Cities Alliance introduced innovations in the existing strategy to enable city managers to develop more resilient approaches to urban planning in primary and secondary cities. The new CDS approach, dubbed CDS 2.0, is a toolkit that is relevant and adaptable to a diverse range of cities. This toolkit recommends mainstreaming cross-cutting issues whose relevance or importance is not restricted solely to one sector in each step of strategic planning. Cross-cutting issues in this toolkit include poverty reduction, gender, and resilience. All three need to be integrated into every stage of the planning cycle. CDS 2.0 helps cities visualize the bigger picture and provides a strong framework for investment. A successful plan is flexible enough to accommodate change, while at the same time strong enough to adhere to a local government's basic mission and objectives. Who is the audience for this toolkit? Cities that are about to start a strategic planning process involving local and national actors, government, the private sector, academia and civil society, as well as their international partners, development agencies, international investors and non-governmental organizations. How to use this toolkit? The toolkit distinguishes between two categories of cities, those that are ready for CDS and those that are not yet ready. Depending on which category your city belongs to, this toolkit may be used differently. Cities that are not yet ready for CDS may have no previous experience with any form of strategic planning, limited capacity for planning, few resources for planning. For these cities, the toolkit recommends that they follow the entire sequence of planning phases and steps that have been designed to help cities prepare for their CDS at each stage of the planning cycle. They also need to put more effort into capacity development and use of external support. Cities that are ready for CDS may have recent experience with strategic planning processes, a strategic plan that needs revision or strengthening, the political will, staff capacities, expertise and resources in place to give them a head start. Experienced cities and those ready for CDS may choose to follow the entire sequence of planning steps outlined in this toolkit, or they may decide to follow only selected steps and stages as needed to strengthen their existing strategic plans. The CDS 2.0 Approach The CDS 2.0 has four phases, with cross-cutting issues on gender, poverty and resilience. Phase 1. Where are we? The first step is to get organized and perform a situation analysis. Then, engage with local actors and discuss the readiness of the city to undertake a CDS and appoint a coordinator to set up a CDS team. Next, take stock of the existing government framework and analyze those policies that influence the CDS processes. After clarifying roles and identifying budget, establish a CDS process. Then, analyze the situation. Review local issues and data sources and set up the research process. Perform a SWOT analysis with the CDS team and obtain approval from the council and endorsement of the mayor. Finally, assess future data acquisition needs and potential and develop a proposal to strengthen capacities. Time frame, months, one to six. Phase two, where do we want to be? Phase two builds on the foundation of phase one. It uses the work done to form the basis of looking to the future. This is done at a broad level and then in more detail with the development of strategic objectives. Through an interactive visioning exercise, build consensus on the key themes and then set objectives for a multi-sector strategy and a multi-year budget. Also, design a user-friendly CDS strategy document. Time frame, months six and seven. Phase three, how do we get there? This phase involves formalizing strategies, programs, and projects and prioritizing them for implementation. First, transform the vision and objectives into strategic options and create an outline budget. 
Next, establish a process for continuous strategy refinement and confirm timelines with responsibilities. Agree on an institution for monitoring and feedback and decide on a final multi-sectoral investment plan. Finally, create a marketing campaign to promote the strategy. Time frame, months 7 to 12. Phase 4. How to implement and know if we're on track. The final phase concerns the implementation, operation, and evaluation of the strategic options. It involves developing a monitoring and evaluation system to guide regular reviews and updates of the program and projects and ensure continued relevance and learning by the stakeholders. Time frame, continuous after month 12.